are you looking for? The surgeon. He's busy. Watch this call. They want him in the colonel's tent right away. Well, I'll tell him. Hey, think we'll make it tomorrow? What do you care? You already made it. Officers call Colonel's tent, sir. Sir? I heard you. Battle orders. I've heard them before. The only one I'd like to hear I never do. Strike your tents, Lieutenant. There are no casualties. I better get over there. Our army is behind us, here on these hills. Here is what this colonel faced. This is the Mexican position called Molino del Rey with a neighboring village. Beyond lies the open route to Mexico City. The American army, with its artillery, lies here, screened by the hills. Its main advance must be up this valley. But a little blockhouse threatens the flank of the advance. No one can tell what possible enemy strength lies here behind it until this blockhouse is taken. This is a job for a small detachment of cavalry and for one of these officers. A reconnaissance in strength. Call it what you will, Lieutenant Hamilton, because you're going to lead it. Yes, sir. It may be so well defended that I'll have to commit the entire regiment in your support. I hope the opposite will be true. But this attack must be pushed home with such vigor that Santa Ana will be forced to reveal his dispositions and fight the battle on ground of our choosing. What troops will I have for the attack, sir? Your own dragoons, Mr. Hamilton. Any questions, gentlemen? There's a request I wish to make, sir. Yes? I'd like five men assigned to me as hospital attendants. We'd all like more men, Doctor. I'd like a few more regiments myself. I'm sure Mr. Hamilton would like twice as many men for the attack, but we haven't got the men. You'll do your job with the men you have. The only men I have are patients, sir. Good. Use them as your attendants. Sir, the men going in the attack have a right to know they'll receive medical care if they're wounded. All my men have to know is how to take orders, not how they're going to be babied by a pill pusher. Up until the time they're wounded. After that, their job is to take that blockhouse. It's up to them to see that they're not wounded. Colonel. Robert has a perfect right to make that request. I have denied it. Your orders will be confirmed in writing, gentlemen. That's all. Sir. That is all, gentlemen. See any likely looking soft spots, Lieutenant? What's our strength, Macy? 23 men, all combat fit, whether they like it or not. How many do we have at Jalapa? 60 men, sir. Well, we left 23 in the hospital there, and we have 10 here. I wish we could pry those 10 loose, sir. We'd have an extra platoon, almost. What's wrong with them? Oh, fever, dysentery, a couple of walking wounded. We need that extra platoon, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I'm going to see that we get them. I thought you men might like some information from the outside world. Must be tough lying there on your beds of pain, not knowing what's going on out there, suffering. Well, we're going into battle tomorrow, and we're going to win. That's a piece of good news for you. Did you hear me? We're going to win. We're going to win fighting with half companies. We're going to do it without you scum hiding behind hospital blankets and quartermaster jobs pretending you're sick. Well, why don't some of you deny it? Come on. Let's hear from you. But not from down there, on your feet. Come on, get on your feet and deny it. No one's getting up, Lieutenant, until they have permission from me. Give them permission, Mr. Surgeon. I need them. You need men. These are not fit. I'm going to have to disagree with you again. You and I have different ideas on when a man is fit to fight. A man is fit when he can stand, or sit a horse, or shoot a gun. I'm not very big, Mr. Surgeon, but I've licked men a head taller than you. You, get up. Leave him alone. I said get up. <laughs> Mr. 
Trooper Metz returning to duty, sir. Is this your own idea? Not exactly, sir. After you left the tent, the doctor examined some of us. He told me I was pretty low with the fever, but if I felt mad enough to fight, that was as good as being fit. Report to Sergeant Macy. Yes, sir. Mads! Glad to have you back. Sit down. Coffee? Yeah. Bring all your equipment? Yep. You're gonna need it. Turn one of your men to duty, Lieutenant. Metz. He reported. I wish there could have been more. So do I. Good night. I'm just as anxious to win this battle as you are. But you don't win battles with sick men in your ranks. All they do is weaken the others. Sick and wounded men arouse pity, and soldiers can't afford themselves that luxury. Any kind of man can look ten feet tall on a horse, even a sick one. You're a good soldier. I'm all for good soldiers before a battle. It's after a battle when I have to try and patch up the awful waste. The only waste is in defeat, Doctor. I'm ordered to attack that blockhouse in the morning with every available man in my command. If two more men would ensure a victory and you keep them in the hospital, who's to blame if the attack fails, you or I? I can't order sick and wounded men into a firing line to relieve myself of an obligation. I hope you win. A soldier always has that chance, but not a medical officer. He fights death, and the best he ever gets is a small delay. I'm not interested in your philosophy, only in mine, to obey orders. As long as there's a battle to be fought, I guess that's the way it has to be. If you could fight as well as you can talk, I'd use you in that attack tomorrow. Too bad you're not a fighting man, Roberts. He's a spy. It was his own gun. All right, I'll ask you once again. How many men are there at Molino del Rey? No, sorry. Where is the headquarters of General Santa Anna? No, sorry. I think I can get something out of him, sir. Well, you can try. Now, you listen. You savvy English, I know you do. You can talk or you can face a firing squad out there and consider letting you live. Otherwise, you die. Understand? How many men in that first building out there? How many men? Talk. What were you doing out there? What were you trying to find out? Talk. You've got one minute. Talk. I never talk. You kill me. I don't talk, you kill me anyway. You murderers, assassins. You fight like wild beasts. You destroy, kill. Don't worry. We fight back, and we're gonna drive you out of Mexico. We never forget what you do to our country and to our people. Go ahead, kill me. I never tell you nothing. You don't get nothing from me. Tomorrow will be nothing of you. Nothing! Tomorrow you lose the battle. Tomorrow you all die. All of you! Let him alone. Take him out.
Well, at least we learned something from him. We know they'll fight to the last man to drive us out. We're going to win this war, but I can't say there's going to be a feeling of victory in it for me. Sir. There are those who say this war never should have been started, that it was criminal to go on with it. But a soldier has no choice. Better get some sleep, gentlemen. The troop moved out with a creak of saddle leather and the jingling of saber chain. But the surgeon could only wait and watch like a wife in a doorway. Later, the wounded and the broken would be carried back to where his deft, trained hands would go into action with scalpel and suture. But now he could only watch as the troopers, the fighters, moved down into the valley. Deep. Feel better? Gracias. Doctor, do you fight? Yeah. Don't do it. It's a trap. Lieutenant Hamilton, you can't get near him.
back to your company. They're scared gutless they won't listen to me. You take care of him. Are you going in with me? And why have to go in alone? They won't go in again, sir. It's suicide. What happened, Sergeant? We took him, Lieutenant. We took Molino Del Rey. It'll all be over in a couple of days. We won? That we did, sir. The surgeon, Roberts, he, the wagon, what happened? He rode it down the hill, sir, all the way, and the men followed him down. They didn't see him again after that, sir. Help me up, Sergeant. blockhouse had fallen. Now over the hills to the north and east, the main battle thundered. The final battle that was to end the Mexican War. The battle in miniature, the skirmish at the blockhouse, had cleared the way for the conflict of many thousands and for the success of the American forces. William Roberts, the healer, had fought like a soldier in his own little battle. <laughs> 